Good morning. Today's verse of the day is Proverbs 6, 16 through 18. And this is a continuation because we're talking about the seven things that are abomination to the Lord. The six things that the Lord hates and the seven things that are abomination to him. So there are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands to shed innocent blood. And the fourth thing, which we're going to talk about right now, a heart that devises wicked plans. Now, right off the bat, what I think about with this is mobsters, crime lords, crime bosses, organized crime, people that uh, do some sort of trafficking or something. They literally have plans and schemes to make money off of those that are misfortunate, to expose those that are less fortunate. Their heart devises wicked plans. They are in the business of crime, drug dealers. I think of this, this time where there was a time I went to, to take pictures uh, of, an, of an outreach, of a Christian outreach. And we went to one of the hardest places in Baltimore. And there was a gentleman there who was out there preaching the gospel. And as I was doing videotaping and stuff, he, he, he decided to tell me a story about how he has been to the, this Baltimore slum area. And he once saw a drug dealer on the street. And that drug dealer had a wad of cash and, and he saw the guy that was preaching and kind of hit it. And he went up to that drug dealer and he said, what you doing, man? And mind you, he's like a real hippie type guy. What you doing, man? You ain't got to hide that money. I know you sell these drugs to children so you can feel that you can feed your family. I know that what you do is for the Lord and the Lord sees it and he forgives you. Right there, I knew I, I couldn't publish any of that guy's work because that's not true. Instead of telling that drug dealer, hey, you need to repent. You have a heart that is devising and executing wicked plans. Yo, he might have got shot, but that's the truth. But why go along with what he is dealing with? A heart that devises wicked plans. It's much more than just someone who tripped, fell, and landed in a sin. You have to plan a wicked scheme. You have to plan your next act of sin. I think of nurses and schools that provide children condoms, or even parents that provide children condoms. What are you doing? You are planning for them to sin. What are you doing? Like, hey, here, here's a condom. Don't have sex. Really? You just gave them a, a plan to have sin. When instead you like, no condoms. And yes, if they go out and have sex, they can have the penalty of sin, death. They can get a STD or something. It is true. But you shouldn't even have an option. You, I, know, I know if I didn't have something like that, then no, there's no option. For me to go and sin because I could die you could kill me <laughs> I think of, of, of my single life and when I instilled the rules that I stilled see instead of a heart that devises wicked plans let's have a divart a heart that devises righteous plans my plan was no women are allowed in my house my apartment until I'm married we are not allowed to go to each other's home alone until we're married. That was a heart that devised a righteous plan. Instead of setting up for when we may sin, let's set up for how, how we're going to do righteous. You know what else are hearts to devise wicked plans? Signing a lease with somebody that you're not married to, that you're having relations with. Your heart just devised a wicked plan. You were saying, I have settled in my sin. When you sign that, that lease, I have settled in my sin. 
This is what I want to do. That is why there are certain sins that people preach about more because they're like, you are saying, this is who I am. This is who God made me. Accept me for who I am. When you do certain sins, when you proclaim a certain way, that is what you are saying. And the Lord does not. It's one of the things that he he calls an abomination, a heart that devises wicked plans. So think about that with, with whatever, whatever things that we have signed our dotted lines on. We need to think about that and reflect. So instead of the wicked plans, let's have a heart that devises righteous plans that push us towards doing good, that push us towards doing righteousness. Something that I like to do, I have my home screen as thebible.com. So when I open up my computer, what do I have to think about? The first thing that comes to mind, oh, the Bible. Yeah, that's right. I'm a Christian. Good morning. Yeah. Set yourself up for a heart that devises righteous plan. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. And may we do that. May we do what we just talked about. Devise righteous plans and avoid wicked plans. Forgive us if we have done something that devises a wicked plan. Change us, Lord. Help us. Help us out of it. In Yeshua's name we pray. May many be saved. Amen. Goodbye.